To get our 59th and our 60th pet equipped, we need about 350,000 diamonds. The best and probably the fastest method for most players to get gems right now is... What's up, guys? My name is D-Field and welcome back to a brand new episode of Pet Simulator 99. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching on 100,000 diamonds mined here in the VIP area. You already know it by now. The reason why we are spending and mining all of these diamonds is because this game requires us to spend a lot of diamonds on every single upgrade. So for today's episode of Pet Simulator, 99 we are going to be talking about the best three ways to get diamonds in the game currently as of right now there is no diamond mine in pet simulator 99 so it is going to take us a little bit of ingenuity in order to farm up some diamonds for these upgrades we have been afking inside this vip gem area for the past i would say maybe about an hour or so and oh guys we are approaching 100 000 diamonds in one little session a quick reminder make sure you guys are using star code d field on your next robux or premium checkout it really does support me as a creator here on youtube thank you guys so much for using my star code here we go 99,000 gems all in one collection now i'm gonna leave my pets here so that they continue to collect gems while we are continuing with this episode as promised we're gonna be talking about the top three ways to get gems currently in Pet Simulator 99. You guys need to stay tuned until the very end of the episode because we are going to reveal the best way to get diamonds apart from the VIP gem area. Ladies and gentlemen, are you excited for today's episode? Let's go ahead and begin. <sighs> guys, on the right side of your screen, we are currently already in our second rebirth rank number eight expert. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is the last rank until they release more ranks into this game. We're making some very, very nice progress here on Pet Simulator 99, and I'm enjoying my time here in the game. Now, guys, we currently have just under 200,000 diamonds to spend in today's episode, and we're going to be discussing all the free ways you guys can get diamonds and earn diamonds the fastest for Pet Simulator 99. My number one tip, make sure you guys are grabbing all of the free diamond packs littered all throughout the entire map. I think there's about three or four different free diamond packs that you guys can pick up. So make sure you guys are doing that. As we move on further into the maps, you guys all see here is the pets equipped machine. We currently have 58 out of 99, a little bit over halfway on the max number of pets equipped. Oh my goodness. Scrolling down, guys, look how expensive these upgrades are going to be for us. To get our 59th and our 60th pet equipped, we need about 350,000 diamonds. Let's go ahead and purchase the first one right now, 150K. That is going to bring us to 59 pets equipped, and we're going to actually be able to equip one more of our uh, evolved King Cobras here. So let's go ahead and put that bad boy in the team. Check out our beautiful army so far we have just over 15 titanics looking absolutely beautiful obviously our shiny popcat army there as well you know what i actually want to go ahead and turn off auto farm for a quick second let me call all of my titanics over here and guys check out the shiny popcat army oh my goodness all of this could not have been done without what we're going to be talking about here today the name of the game in grinding on pet simulator 99 is to accumulate as many diamonds as you can in order to upgrade all of your things so first things first let me go ahead and move all of my pets back to the gem mine we want to make sure we're not losing out on any time obviously there's going to be a whole bunch of diamonds and everything in here as well so we want to make sure we grab as much as we can diamonds are always always going to be the number one currency that you guys want to acquire here on ps99 so make sure you guys are still farming and grinding away now let's go ahead and discuss how to actually Actually get the gems the best way possible here on PS99 and obviously the number one method
method. You guys are all going to scream and cry. But the number one method to get gems on the first week of playing is obviously through the exclusive shop. Now, personally, guys, I am not going to be spending Robux on this because this is just not what I want to do. 4,500 Robux for 500,000 diamonds. In my complete opinion, guys, I think this is a little bit overkill because if you play the game, right, you don't really need, in my complete opinion, to buy those gems unless you are really in a hurry. Now, it is very understandable that us YouTubers here on YouTube are going to buy those packs if we are in a hurry in order to create videos. But in all honesty, guys, my humble opinion would tell you guys to not spend your hard earned Robux on gems, because if you guys play the game passively, not even in the VIP area, you guys will already accumulate a whole bunch of gems just by naturally playing. As a quick example, guys, if we jump over all the way to the number 50 fire dojo, let me go ahead and set all of my pets on this little section of the map. Let's turn off auto farm and reset it on this area so all my pets should run on over. Even as you're farming in these normal sections, you guys can see I'm actually still getting a whole bunch of different gem drops from it. So while you guys are collecting and while you guys are playing here on Pet Simulator 99, I guarantee you guys you will be accumulating gems. It really just depends on how fast you want to accumulate those gems. Now we just talked about how the number one method to get the most gems is here on PS99 is obviously to buy it through the exclusive shop. But what are some other methods that we can use in order to accumulate gems? Although the number one method to buy gems is through the exclusive shop, while you guys are grinding throughout your PS99 gameplay, you guys will always get diamonds as well. So the number two best method to get diamonds is to just play. You do not need to be in a worry. Pet simulators and simulators in general are honestly just a very long grind. At the end of the day, you can pay to win to hurry up your time and get more diamonds. But when you're playing a simulator, honestly, why would you do that? The whole point of simulators is to grind out and watch your numbers and your gems go up without spending too much money. That is kind of the whole point of these massive games. And you guys can see that even in this short time, we got about a thousand gems from collecting in the fire dojo. So that is definitely going to be something that you guys want to check out. Just play the game. And honestly, you're just going to get some gems passively. That's just the number one thing that you guys need to keep in mind while you are playing. But number three, we need to talk about it, guys. Number three, the best and probably the fastest method for most players to get gems right now is obviously done through the VIP mine. So if you guys teleport to spawn, here's the spawn shop with all the eggs in the back. Turn to your left and on the left side, there is a tunnel into the VIP only section. Now guys, this section right now is only two members currently. So unfortunately, for those of you guys who have not spent any Robux, you guys will not be able to get into this area. This area right here is the number one place to get diamonds currently here on Pet Simulator 99. In the future, they might add in some more areas or some new areas, whether it's a diamond mine or maybe a brand new gem farming area into the game. But as of right now, as we are starting Pet Simulator 99, this right here is the best spot, the best place to actually accumulate and farm up diamonds for your upgrades. Now, guys, a quick couple of tips for those of you guys who are diamond farming. All right. This is the number one thing you guys all have to do while you are farming up diamonds. Number one, go into your enchants list. All right. And make sure that you guys are all using your diamond books. I have a wide assortment of diamond books. Currently, we have one diamonds four book and then a couple of diamonds three. We are also synergizing the diamond books with one magnet book. So actually, if I stand AFK right in the center of this room, no matter where my pets break all the gems, I will always, always, always collect the gems because of the magnet enchantment on that book. So make sure you guys are equipping your enchants on the books. And then on top of that, do not forget to also use your potions scattered throughout all of PS99. As I've shown you guys, you know what? Actually, let's go ahead and find one potion machine real quick. But scattered throughout all of PS99, there are potion machines which you guys are able to upgrade and buy potions from. I would strongly recommend that as you guys are playing an AFK, head on over to these actual vending machines and buy these potions because eventually you'll be able to take these potions and 
would upgrade them to the higher enchants they're gonna definitely be a big 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 huge boost to your actual grinding when you guys do begin here on ps99 how many eggs do we currently have here on the egg open machine guys 50 eggs opening at once oh my gosh we've been grinding a crazy amount of diamonds and as you can see we've afforded a lot of these upgrades because of the vip diamond mine i would strongly suggest if you guys are going to spend any robux at all at the start of ps99 please buy the vip pass guys in the exclusive shop the vip pass right here is i think about 400 robux if i'm not mistaken and with that robux you get a whole bunch of rewards on top of that diamond mine i would strongly strongly suggest getting that actual mine unlocked so that you guys can start upgrading how many pets you can have out now with all that being said i am gonna head back into the diamond mine and you know what we popped ourselves a potion you know what let's go ahead and pop ourselves a diamond potion right now we're gonna do this for at least the next 20 minutes or so and then on top of that we are also gonna pop down a diamond flag guys take a quick peek place in an area to increase diamond breakables by two times placing that diamond flag down in this area will allow a lot more diamonds to spawn all over their ground since we have a team of over 50 pets they will literally clear this area in a matter of seconds i think this is where i'm going to be spending the next couple of days i really do want to get more gems so that i don't spend extra robux you know obviously unlocking more pets and more egg hatches so Hopefully you guys have learned a little bit something new today here on PS99. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a bunch more episodes coming to you guys in the near future. A lot more fun tricks, a lot more secret areas, and a lot more extravagant trading. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is D-Field. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Pet Simulator 99. A lot more gems are needed to be farmed. We need at least a million. We'll see you guys again again very soon. Have a fantastic day. Peace.